So it's an interesting patch, Talagander, because in the 2019-2020 bushfires, a lot of the surrounding area got quite heavily burnt. And then we had patches of state forest that did get burnt both at high severity and low severity. But we have patches like this, where logging recently is being concentrated over the past 12 months or so, that was unburnt, that's wet and cool, and is climate refugia for threatened species in these places. So if we start to log these unburnt patches, it was only a few years ago that they were cooked and we near ground zero for the impacts of the 2019-2020 bushfires. So if we don't protect these refuges that they've managed to escape to after the bushfires, we've got no hope for recovering those species that were impacted by the bushfires. part of this compartment that is scheduled to be logged quite soon. It's trees like this that sequester an incredible amount of carbon. They have a really important role to play with water, both with uh, evapotranspiration. They also provide the critical habitat needed for greater gliders by providing hollows, foraging habitat, connectivity. They're an incredible resource and a flagship these forests. Without old trees like this, we won't have gliders. Native forest logging is an industry that's past its ecological limits and past its economic limits. You can only cut this down if you get a subsidy from the government to do so. But also, if you cut this down, you, you actually destroy the habitat of already threatened native species. So native logging is just a catastrophe from every point of view. If they were to log this amazing patch of forest that we're standing in, which is a new coop in Talaganda, what we would basically see is instead of this green that we can see in the background, instead of these ferns, it would be bare earth because they would have driven heavy machinery into here to be able to cut down some of these trees. A lot of the trees that we're seeing would be cut down. They'd be stumps. They'd be piles of trees, of logs that were getting ready to be taken out. And then in addition to that, all of the other trees that aren't economically viable or not going to create a resource for timber would be slashed and left on the ground as debris and in large piles. So you'd have bare earth, stumps, logs, piles that just sit on the ground as wastage, as fire risk for future fires, and it effectively becomes a wasteland. Science is pretty clear with the best way to protect greater gliders, and that's by protecting their habitat. There's no other way around it. This is a species that is endangered, is on an incredibly rapid trajectory of decline. It's declining more rapidly than the koala. The alarm is ringing for this species. And if we don't protect their habitat in its entirety, then we can just ensure that this species will go extinct. There's no two ways about it.